Okay, now we have a female with abdominal pain plus vaginal bleeding. So what are your differentials here? Ectopic pregnancy. Yeah, perfect. Uh, Could be spontaneous abortion. Right, Could right. be molar pregnancy. Right, right. Could be degenerating leiomyoma. Could be adnexal torsion. Could be what, I'm sorry? Adnexal torsion. Oh, yeah. Could sure. be ruptured ectopic pregnancy. Or it could be just ectopic pregnancy. Or ruptured corpus luteum. Could be pelvic inflammatory disease. Could be acute appendicitis. Could be pyelonephritis. Jeez. Could be ectopic pregnancy. Okay, so now what are the labs that we do? So spontaneous abortion, obviously, beta ICJ, that we do that for sure. Mm -hmm. And then, since we suspect molar pregnancy, so cut a gleam, we do it. That's we do it with for for every case almost. And then ruptured corpus luteum or ruptured ectopic pregnancy. Anytime there is a risk of surgery, then we do the pre-op which is the PT, INR, and type. Those are the pre-op orders. If there is a PID, then risk of PID, gonococcal culture. We test for chlamydia. Okay, gonococcal and chlamydia, those are the most important thing. Mm -hmm. And obviously, transvaginal ultrasound. Okay, now the management for ectopic. So after we did all of these labs, now we confirm it's ectopic pregnancy. Now how do we manage it? That's the question. Now, depend on the stability. If the patient is stable, how do we manage it? If the patient is stable, well, you still send them to the hospital if they're in the office. Yeah, monitor vital signs. That's an important thing. And okay. serial beta ACT? Yeah, yeah. Motor vital signs and beta HCG. That's an important one. And then you look at the transvaginal ultrasound plus the beta HCG. Okay. So if the and then after you do the transvaginal ultrasound. Okay. So this mm -hmm. is there are we have and then we do transvaginal ultrasound and then we monitor if it's more than fifteen hundred mm -hmm. plus the intrauterine pregnancy in the transvaginal ultrasound beta HCG more than fifteen hundred and intrauterine pregnancy. Then mm -hmm. this treat as abnormal and try to try pregnancy. Okay? But if there is if the beta is more than fifteen hundred plus no intrauterine pregnancy, then repeat in two days. Repeat beta ICG in two days. If the beta ICG is less than fifteen hundred plus no intrauterine pregnancy. In this case, also repeat in two to three days. Okay, so those are those are the management for stable one. Okay, now what if it's the patient is unstable? Okay, if unstable, first off we give the IV excess, IV fluid, type transfuse if needed, we do BP monitor, we do PT, PTT, INR, beta HCG, consult surgery, and ob -gyn. Okay, those are if it's unstable. Now, if there is a, if there is a mass plus the beta HCG more than 1500, now the criteria, this is very important, very high yield for the exam. If the beta HCG less than 5,000 plus the mass is less than 3.5 cm, then what do we do? How do we treat that? Wait, hold on. What about this mass plus more than 1,500? What is that about? Like if there is an excel mass plus the beta HCG more than 1,500. Right. What do we do with that? Yeah. So now, the, the, we differentiate it into two categories. If the, ah, okay, if, okay, okay. If the beta HCG more than 5,000 mm -hmm. 
or the adnexal mass more than 3.5 cm or if it's less than that value then the management will be different okay less than 5000 or no fetal heart rate so what's the difference in management here no fetal heart rate oh that's a, not a good thing then you uh, give them methotrex yeah perfect if it's less than 5000 and the it's less than 3.5 cm mass, then we give them methotrexate, meaning that it's small enough that methotrexate can uh, take care of it. But mm -hmm. if any contraindication to methotrexate, which are many, like liver failure, those all of those good stuff, then we do laparoscopy. Okay? Those are the most important thing. In case of liver failure, renal failure, or breastfeeding okay any of these that we do laparoscopy but if the patient more than 5000 or the mass more than 3.5 cm mm -hmm. or there is fetal heart rate then methotrex is unlikely to resolve the issues then we go mm -hmm. straight to laparoscopy not laparotomy yeah we start off with laparoscopy but if there is uh, if that didn't work, then we do laparotomy. Laparoscopy, I think, you should take care of it. If the RH negative, then we give RH immunoglobulin. Okay, those are the most important thing. How how what is what type of management? This is inpatient management. That's the most important thing. And you gotta monitor monitor vital signs. Q one hour. That's an important here. Okay, and if methotrexate is given. You got to follow up in four days to monitor beta HCG. That's an important one here. Okay, so in summary, for patient who presented with abdominal pain, vaginal bleeding, then we do beta HCG, cutting lean, and the pre-op, plus chlamydia and gonorrhea. Then the management, if it's stable, we monitor or repeat beta HCG. If it's unstable, we do IV fluid plus pre-op. And if the beta HCG is less than 5,000, less than 3.5 cm, then we give methotrexate. If it's more than 5,000, more than 3.5 cm, then we do laparoscopy. Monitor beta HCG in four days if methotrexate is given, period.